All right, I'm going to show you guys how to register for a Scribble Maps account. I'm going to show you how to save your map and also retrieve your map. And then I'm also going to show you how to turn in your map. So first thing you're going to do on Scribble Maps is you're going to go to the Create Map button. And once it loads, you're going to go to the lower left hand corner. I'm going to close out of this first. You're going to go to your lower left hand corner and um, you're going to find a couple buttons here. Mine are not there because I'm already logged in, but um, you're either going to have a button that says log in or register. When you register, just register using your Park Hill email address and then your password is going to be your Park Hill password. That's all the information you need to register for a Scribble Maps account. Once you're all logged in, then you're going to see your email address in the lower left hand corner. After you're all logged in, um, you can retrieve your maps going to menu. And um, let's say um, if I want to retrieve one of my maps, you're going to go to this little um, icon that looks like a file box. You'll click on it and you'll notice that I have a few different maps here. I'm going to select the last map that I worked on which is Elliottville. And then you're going to load the map. And here I have my map. So let's say that I'm not done with it. I still want to add a couple things on this map and um, like I have the Himalaya Mountains but I want to actually put Mount Everest on there so let's say that I need another landform represented on my map so I'm gonna do that very quickly here I'm gonna find an icon that looks kind of like a mountain or just pick something and let's see I'm gonna pick geology locations and for Mount Everest I'm going to pick this icon. So let's say that I want to pick, um, put Mount Everest right here. Okay, and then I know that I need to add it to my key. I'm going to add it to my key or my legend. So everything's all updated. Now I want to save this. So if you don't know how to save a map, this is how you save a map. So you go to menu, you click on the save map icon, which is right here. I'm going to click on it. And then um, since this is a map that I already used, it's already titled, but if you're doing a brand new map, it will not have a title. So in this box here is where you're going to actually title it. Um, mine's already titled for me and I'm just going to save over this and this is my Elliottville map. So I'm going to save the map and then you'll notice that the next screen that pops up is going to give you lots of different links that you can look at. Um, let's say that I just want an image of it, which is probably just fine for you to use. Um, or if you want to use this edit link, that's fine as well. Um, really any of these three bottom ones would be just fine for you to use. Um, before you turn it in though, I'm gonna, it's already saved, but before you turn it in, um, I'm gonna close out of this. You wanna make sure that this is in satellite mode. I know that um, some of you like to use the hybrid mode because it labels everything, but you actually wanna turn it in using the satellite mode. So if you choose to turn it in as a picture, um, I wanna be able to see this in satellite mode, not with any of the other items labeled. Okay, now I'm going to go back and save it and get those links one more time. So um, when I save it, all the links pop up. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pick one of the links. So you can choose the one that you want to use. Um, you'll right click on it. And then you'll go to the assignment that's on Google Classroom. So 
um, there will be an assignment there and you'll just add it straight to the assignment um, that's on Google Classroom. Okay, what you can do is you can go to the announcement that was on Classroom about Scribble Maps and you can add the link to your map on that announcement. There's a comments feature that is there and you can just add the link there. So I'm going to do control V. It's going to put my um, copied link there um, and then I'm going to post it. So now I see that my link is there and it's um, my link that I added. Um, when you add it, of course, your name will be there and I'll see that you added your link there. Um, I'm going to just double check that that's the link that works. I'll click on it. And I'm going to close this and it looks like it works. So this one was the, I think this one was the actual like edited um, link so that I can go back and, and um, re-edit it if I would like to. Or if you forgot to switch it to satellite, I would be able to switch it to satellite. So um, that link may work the best, but you can choose which link you want to want to use for this assignment. Um, I think any of them will work though. Um, good luck with this and I will see you guys on Thursday or next week. Thanks!